Learn with Peppa Pig, level 4, wait for Pedro. Peppa Pig is doing something new today. She is going on a trip to the museum. But there is a problem. Pedro Pony is late, says Madame Gazelle. He's late all the time, moans Peppa. I expect he is still in bed, <laughs> jokes Susie Sheep. They are all correct. Pedro is still asleep. Wake up! Shrieks his mummy. It's nine o'clock! Oh no! You're going to be late! <sighs> Pedro yawns and slides out of bed. They chase the bus. Oh. Wait for me! Shrieks Pedro. We're going to be late! Miss Rabbit presses the brake. The bus stops and Pedro jumps inside. Miss Rabbit takes the children around the museum. These royal gowns used to belong to kings and queens, he explains. They look like dressing up costumes, jokes Danny Dog. This room contains wildlife bones from a long time ago, explains Mr Rabbit. Look at the size of that beast's jaws, exclaims Madame Gazelle. It might chew us up, Pedro gulps. Pedro stops to gaze at some insects in a frame. <gasps> Mr Rabbit continues into the next room, but Pedro stays behind. Wait one moment, have you seen Pedro? says Madame Gazelle when they get outside. No one can remember when they saw him. Madame Gazelle finds Pedro beside the insects. But it has taken so long to find him, the bus has left without them. Oh, no. <sighs> Mr. Rabbit lets Madame Gazelle take Pedro back in his car. <coughs> Hello, ducks! cries Pedro. <coughs> Madame Gazelle and Pedro get back first. This will amaze Miss Rabbit, says Pedro. You would make a good bus driver. Wow, you're not late, Pedro, exclaims Peppa. <laughs> I am going to be on time from now on, replies Pedro. So long as I can have a lion at the weekend. The end. Peppa Pig, Peppa Meets Father Christmas. It was almost Christmas. Peppa was wrapped up in her warm winter clothes and on her way to playgroup. I can't wait for Christmas Day, cried Peppa, as she and George jumped up and down in the snow. Has everyone got their costumes for the Christmas play? asked Madame Gazelle once everyone had arrived. Peppa and her friends all had parts to practice for the play. How, 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 barked Danny Dog. Danny was Father Christmas. I'm the Christmas fairy, <coughs> said Peppa, dancing around proudly. I'm the Christmas nurse, <coughs> said Susie, in case anybody gets ill. The next day, Peppa George, Mummy and Daddy Pig went to the supermarket to do some Christmas shopping. Daddy, look! whispered Peppa, pointing. It's Father Christmas. Why don't you go over and say hello, said Daddy Pig. Hello, Father Christmas, said Peppa shyly. 
It's me, Peppa. Hello, Peppa, Father Christmas replied. Are you looking forward to Christmas? Oh, yes, said Peppa. We're doing a Christmas play at Playgroup. I'm the Christmas fairy and Danny is you. How lovely, said Father Christmas. I should be Father Christmas really, said Peppa. But Danny is good at ho ho hoing. Ho 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 ho, laughed Father Christmas. Will you come and see our play? asked Peppa. Please! I am rather busy, Father Christmas replied, but I will do my best. At playgroup the next day, Peppa and her friends put up the Christmas tree. I saw Father Christmas at the supermarket, cried Peppa. He's coming to see our play. I saw him at the garden centre and he didn't tell me that said Rebecca Rabbit. I saw Father Christmas in the shopping centre, said Molly Mole. How can he be in so many places? Father Christmas moves very quickly, <coughs> said Danny Dog. He gives presents to children all around the world in just one night. On his magic sleigh, <coughs> added Zoe Zebra, putting the last decoration on the tree. The next morning, Peppa saw Father Christmas at the Christmas tree shop. Hello again, Father Christmas, <coughs> cried Peppa. Are you still coming to our play? <coughs> play? asked Father Christmas. Our Christmas play, said Peppa. <coughs> you haven't forgotten. <coughs> oh, oh, yes, of course. I will do my best to come, replied Father Christmas. The day of the Christmas play arrived. We can't start yet, whispered Peppa. Father Christmas isn't here. But your parents are waiting, whispered Madame Gazelle. The show must go on. <laughs> the snowflakes started the play with a song. Snow, snow, it's what we like. Snow by day and snow by night. And when it falls, it turns things white. Snow, snow, snow. I am the Christmas fairy, <coughs> said Peppa, jumping on stage. And I am Father Christmas, <coughs> said Danny Dog, joining her. Ha ha ha! Ho ho ho! Wonderful, said a voice. It sounded just like. Father Christmas! gasped the children. You're here! You came to see our play after all! cried Peppa. Of course I did, Peppa! said Father Christmas. It's very good! Do you really go all around the world in one night? asked Wendy Wolf. Yes, replied Father Christmas with my magic sleigh and reindeer. Please can we see your sleigh? asked Pedro Pony. I'm sure Father Christmas is a bit too busy to show us his sleigh, said Madame Gazelle. It's true, I am very busy, but of course you can see my sleigh, said Father Christmas. Come outside, everyone. Father Christmas led the children, their families, and Madame Gazelle outside. Wow! Everyone gasped, seeing his golden sleigh sparkling in the snow. It's beautiful, cried Peppa. What is it like to ride in? Hop in and I'll show you, replied Father Christmas. cried the children as Father Christmas flew them across the sky. Ho 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 ho, laughed Father Christmas. Happy Christmas everyone! <laughs> <laughs>
ho, ho, ho. This is the best Christmas ever, cheered Peppa. Thank you, Father Christmas. Merry Christmas! Ho, 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 ho! The end. Peppa Pig. Peppa plays cricket. <laughs> Peppa and George are in the garden. Susie Sheep has come to play. Hello, <laughs> says Susie. Daddy Pig is looking after the children. He finds his sun hat and turns on the radio. What a lovely day, says Daddy Pig. I'll sit here so I can watch you. <laughs> Daddy, <laughs> calls Peppa. Are you asleep? <laughs> huh? sputters Daddy Pig. Oh, of course not. I was listening to the cricket. <laughs> it must be very boring if it makes you go to sleep, <laughs> says Susie. Daddy Pig shakes his head. He loves cricket. Daddy Pig fetches a bat and ball and some sticks. What are those for? asks Peppa. Cricket, says Daddy Pig. I'm going to show you how to play. Peppa, George and Susie cheer. Hooray! Daddy Pig pushes three big sticks into the ground, then rests two little sticks on top. This is the wicket, says Daddy Pig. Wicket! <laughs> Laughs George, knocking the sticks over. Daddy Pig puts them back up again. The wicket is important in cricket. Daddy Pig gives the ball to Peppa. She is going to be the bowler. Lift the ball up high, says Daddy Pig, then run along the grass and let go. Whee! laughs Peppa. <laughs> oh! Peppa runs so fast she forgets to let go. Daddy Pig Shows George how to swing the bat. Bowl again, please, Peppa, says Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa lifts the ball up high, runs and lets go. George swings the bat and knocks over the wicket. <laughs> Never mind, George, says Daddy Pig. I'll help you swing the bat. George keeps trying with Daddy Pig's help. Pop. He hits the ball. Catch it, Susie! Shouts Daddy Pig. Susie jumps up and catches the ball. <coughs> Mommy Pig calls everyone inside. It is tea time. Cricketers always stop for tea, says Daddy Pig. And sandwiches. <coughs> and cake. Cake! Here's George. George loves cricket. Everyone loves cricket. The end. Peppa Pig, Peppa's Castle Adventure. Peppa and George are going to visit a castle today. Maybe we'll see a dragon, says Daddy Pig. Arr, says George. George likes dragons. Only a pretend dragon, says Peppa. Dragons are not really real. Daddy Pig parks a car in the car park. Welcome to the castle tour, says Miss Rabbit. Cars are parked at the owner's risk. What does that mean? asks Peppa. Nothing, snorts Daddy Pig. They always say that in car parks. 
Mr. Rabbit comes out of the castle. He is dressed in armor like a knight. The castle tour starts here, he says. Let's fire the cannon. A cannonball shoots out of the cannon. It flies all the way down to the car park. <laughs> boom, boom, giggles George. <laughs> this is where the king and queen would sit, says Mr. Rabbit. It's the throne room. George can be king and I can be queen, decides Peppa. <coughs> May I carry on with the tour, your majesties? asks Mr. Rabbit. <coughs> yes, giggles Peppa, you may. <coughs> Mr. Rabbit opens the door to a secret passageway. It leads to the dining hall. <coughs> Look at all the food. Asked Daddy Pig. It's a real banquet, <coughs> says Mummy Pig. Peppa picks up a bread roll. <coughs> the food is made of plastic. <coughs> Don't worry, says Miss Rabbit. Your real banquet is coming. Miss Rabbit brings in four little boxes. Here we are, she cries, ye oldy cheese sandwich with Jester's pickle. <coughs> it's a banquet in a box, <coughs> cheers Peppa. <coughs> and now, says Mr. Rabbit, it's time to meet the dragon. <coughs> Peppa and George climb to the top of the castle. A huge dragon stomps towards them, with Miss Rabbit waving from the top. The dragon is a robot. The robot dragon marches all the way up to the castle. It's nearly crushed our car, splutters Daddy Pig. Cars are parked at the owner's risk, Miss Rabbit reminds him. <laughs> Cheers, George. He loves castles. Everyone loves castles. The End The Story of Prince George <laughs> Daddy Pig is saying goodnight to Peppa and George. Just one more dance, <laughs> chuckles Daddy Pig. It's nearly bedtime. It is bedtime, Daddy Pig, says Mummy Pig. They are almost asleep, says Daddy Pig. Why don't I put Peppa and George to bed, says Mummy Pig. Can we have a bedtime story first, says Peppa. Okay, says Mummy Pig, but only if you promise to go straight to sleep afterwards. We promise, <coughs> cries Peppa. Starry, <coughs> giggles George. Once upon a time, <coughs> Mummy Pig begins, there was a fairy tale castle. The castle was home to a brave prince called George and a clever princess called Peppa. Prince George and Princess Peppa spent their days exploring the castle. They even had a cook who made them jellies, cookies and fairy cakes with cherries on top. Mm. Prince George and Princess Peppa always ate everything. When they finished exploring and eating, Prince George and Princess Peppa summoned the Royal Wizard. The wizard wore a cloak covered in stars. He put on big magic shows and his tricks never went wrong, ever. Everybody loved living in the fairy tale castle until one day a big scary dragon arrived. Princess Peppa squealed. 
Her royal friends ran as fast as their legs could carry them. <coughs> Only Prince George stayed to face the dragon. Princess Peppa peered out of the castle window. The dragon was very big and scary. She hoped it wouldn't eat Prince George. Brave Prince George climbed on his horse and rode right up to the dragon. Rrrr, said the dragon. Rrrr, rrrr, said George. <laughs> Suddenly Prince George giggled. The dragon wasn't scary. It was just lonely. Dinosaur! <laughs> cried George. Princess Peppa came out of the castle and Prince George invited the dragon to a picnic. The royal cook made a feast. The royal wizard put on a special magic show. Soon everybody in the kingdom wanted to meet the dragon. Princess Peppa and Prince George held a big party and the dragon was the guest of honour. His spines popped lots of balloons, but nobody minded. The dragon liked the prince and the princess so much, he decided to be their royal pet. <laughs> prince George led a parade to celebrate. Everybody cheered. <laughs> Hooray for the dragon! Hooray for Princess Peppa! Hooray for Prince George the Brave! Hooray! The end, cries Peppa. Dinosaur! Snorts George. Daddy Pig comes in to check on them. <coughs> Mummy Pig has spent so long telling them the story that she's fallen asleep. Good night, Mummy Pig. Good night, Princess Peppa. Good night, Prince George. The end. Princess Peppa. It is bedtime for Peppa and George. Mummy Pig tucks him in and turns out the light. Good night, little piggies, she whispers. Downstairs, Granny and Grandpa Pig arrive to have dinner with Mummy and Daddy Pig. Mm. They all sit down to eat, but suddenly they hear noises coming from upstairs. Oh. Is that Pepper and George? <coughs> asks Grandpa Pig. Looks like the little piggies aren't sleeping after all. <coughs> Mummy Pig goes upstairs to check on Peppa and George. They are wide awake. <laughs> Peppa, George, quickly now, hop into bed, says Mummy Pig. You're making lots of noise and it's too late for you to be up. <coughs> we aren't sleepy yet, says Peppa. Oh no! Will you tell us a story? asks Peppa. We promised to go to sleep after a story. <coughs> All right, says Mummy Pig. <coughs> Once upon a time... There was a princess, Peppa jumps in. <laughs> oh yes, says Mummy Pig. Once upon a time there was a courageous princess named Peppa. Wow. She lived in a castle with Sir George the Brave Knight. <laughs> and the princess and the knight had a cook who made the most delicious food ever, adds Peppa. Of course says Mummy Pig. She made cupcakes and cookies. Hmm. Cherry jelly tower, says Peppa. That was the princess's favourite food. The princess and the knight invited their friend Pedro Pony and they ate all the yummy desserts. Hmm. Yes, said Mummy Pig. And afterward, everyone was so full, they fell right asleep the end. Then they woke up, cries Peppa, and they invited a wizard to the castle. Oh. A wizard? 
asked Mummy Pig. Yes, says Peppa. And he did a big magic show, but then all of a sudden... A big green dragon came to the castle. Peppa continues. <laughs>, laughs George. <Arr! laughs> oh no, says Mummy Pig. How scary. <laughs> the dragon wasn't scary, says Peppa. <laughs> he was just very, very hungry. <laughs> so the king came and ordered the cook to make a picnic, <laughs> says Peppa. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Mummy Pig asks with a yawn. Yes, <laughs> says Peppa. The cook, the wizard, the princess, the knight, the king, Pedro Pony and the dragon sat down to a big feast. <laughs> and then they went to sleep, murmurs Mummy Pig as her head drops to one side. No, says Peppa, they had a party. <laughs> the princess arrived at the party in a beautiful carriage, <laughs> says Peppa. Wow. She came with her friend Susie Sheep. <laughs> Sir George pulled the carriage with his horse. <laughs> All of their friends came to the castle to dance. There was Rebecca Rabbit and Pedro Pony and Danny Dog. <laughs> Downstairs, Daddy Pig, Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig are wondering what is taking Mummy Pig so long. Maybe we should see what's going on upstairs, says Daddy Pig. <laughs> I think I hear snoring, says Granny Pig. <laughs> Mummy Pig must have finally gotten Peppa and George to fall asleep. But Peppa and George are not snoring. Mummy Pig is. <laughs> it looks like Princess Peppa is the best at telling bedtime stories, says Daddy Pig. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Peppa Pig, Princess Peppa and the Royal Ball. Princess Peppa is excited that her family is having a ball at the castle tonight. <laughs> Queen Mummy Pig and King Daddy Pig need help getting ready. There is so much to do before the party. Can I invite my friends to the ball? asked Princess Peppa. Of course, says Queen Mummy. Princess Peppa and Prince George go to the village. Princess Peppa invites her friends to the ball. Hooray! Hooray! They cheer. Everyone can come. Back at the castle, Grandpa Wizard is getting the ballroom ready. Wow! Princess Peppa wants to help. Grandpa Wizard uses his magic to make decorations appear from Princess Peppa's broom. Oh no! Some of the candles went out. Princess Peppa asks for help from a friendly dragon. Next, Princess Peppa helps King Daddy choose flowers for the table. They pick the best ones from the royal garden. <laughs> Princess Peppa brings the flowers inside. Thank you, Peppa. These are very pretty, says Queen Mummy. <coughs> Why don't you check on the desserts, she asks Princess Peppa. Hmm. Peppa goes to the kitchen. <coughs> what would you like to try, the royal baker asks. Everything, please, says Peppa says. This is the best job so far. The ballroom is ready. The food is ready. Everything is ready except Princess Peppa. She goes up to her room to change for the party. Ring! It is the doorbell. The guests are here. <laughs> Princess Peppa welcomes them to her royal ball. 
A trumpet plays. Prince George arrives in the ballroom. <coughs> Queen Mummy and King Daddy follow. Now the royal ball can begin. Wow. Everyone sings and dances along to the music. They eat yummy cakes and cookies. Hmm. <coughs> Thank you for making the royal ball so special, Princess Peppa, <coughs> Queen Mummy says. And so yummy, King Daddy says. <laughs> they all danced happily ever after. <laughs> the End Peppa and the Backyard Circus Bang, bang, bang. It is a sunny day. Peppa and her friends are visiting Grandpa and Granny Pig. <laughs> Grandpa Pig is using his hammer. Oh. It's a circus tent, says Peppa. <coughs> Hooray! Everyone shouts. <coughs> Ooh, says Peppa. <coughs> Can we see the circus, Grandpa Pig? <coughs> This isn't a circus tent, says Grandpa Pig. Oh. It looks like a circus tent, says Peppa. What is it? It is for Granny Pig's garden party, he says. Wow. Peppa doesn't know what a garden party is. <whistles> Grandpa Pig tells her it's a party where grown-ups stand around and talk. Oh. It doesn't sound like fun to Peppa. She has a better idea. Let's put on our own show, says Peppa. We'll call it Peppa's Circus. <coughs> Granny Pig thinks having the circus at her garden party is a very good idea. <coughs> Everyone wants to join the circus. Wow. Danny Dog wants to be the strong man. <coughs> Emily Elephant wants to be the juggler. <coughs> My father used to work in a circus, says Emily Elephant. Oh. He did? asks Peppa. What did he do? Peppa knows that sometimes there are elephants in the circus. He was the ticket taker, says Emily. <laughs> Granny Pig brings a dress up box. There are lots of fun things inside. <laughs> Danny Dog finds polka dot shirts and a stick-on moustache. My strong man suit, he says. <coughs> Peppa finds a hat. <coughs> Pedro Pony finds a clown costume and a horn. Uh -oh. <coughs> Rebecca Rabbit does makeup. Hold still, Pedro, she says. <coughs> Everyone is dressed and ready for the show. Grandpa, says Peppa, I don't have anything to do. Oh, no. Well, you can be the ringmaster, he says. What does the ringmaster do, asks Peppa. The ringmaster is the boss, says Grandpa Pig. Peppa likes that idea. I will be the ringmaster boss, she says. Good, says Grandpa. You can say, Welcome to my circus. Come and see the amazing feats of Daring Do. Wow! Granite's guests start to arrive. Everyone crowds inside the striped tent. Welcome to my circus, shouts Peppa. Come and see the amazing feats. circus begins. Prepare to be scared, Peppa says. Is it a tiger? Rebecca asks. No, it's Candy Cat. Oh. Now watch the amazing cyclists. George, Richard and Edmund. Here is the strong man. Danny Dog. 
Danny shows his muscles. He wants to show the crowd how strong he is. He lifts Pepper. Ooh, say the crowd. Now please welcome Emily Elephant, who will juggle two potatoes and one egg. Toss, drop, toss, drop, toss. When Pedro the Clown walks into the ring, everyone laughs. Spray! <laughs> everyone laughs again. Splat! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dogs and elephants, cats and ponies, says Peppa. Thank you for coming to my circus. <coughs> the end. Hi kids, did you have fun watching this video? Then like and subscribe for more.